Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well. So first things first, I wanted to tell you guys that the course that I joined with Namrita Sony uh, has ended. Now I can finally get back to posting more videos for you guys. So we will get back to our routine of posting two videos a week from now on. And I would love, love, love to hear from you guys what all videos you want me to make. Also, I have a few suggestions that you guys had given me on Instagram as well. So I have all of those in mind and I will make a video of those suggestions soon. So today's video, I decided to do this one really simple, very classic smoky eye. It is very easy, very simple. Uh, it looks very complicated, but it is very simple to do. So without wasting any more time, let's get straight to the video. Uh, so first things first, I'm gonna prep and prime my face and the moisturizer that I'm using today is my all time favorite Johnson Baby moisturizer. <laughs> Alright, so the next step, I'm using my primer, which is the Benefit Pore Minimizer. Alright, so next step, I'm using this Dawson Culture Under Eye Gel Cream, and I'm just massaging the under eye area with this gel. So now, since I'm doing a smoky eye, there are chances that the black uh, shadow might fall on my face. So that is the reason I'm not doing my face first. I will be doing my eyes, and then I'll be doing my face. Begin with my eye makeup. I'm using my concealer, which is the LA Girl Pro Conceal Concealer in the shade Pure Beige, and I'm applying it all over my eyelids. I'm blending it in using my YBP sponge. Right, so next step, I'm using the L'Oreal Too Match Concealer in the shade Fair, and I'm applying it very little uh, on the concealer that I've applied earlier because I will be applying this underneath my eyes as well. So I just want it to look even. Just a dab. I'm just gonna let this set on my eyes for like two minutes. Meanwhile, I'll do my eyebrows. So to fill in my brows today, I'm using the Cabrow number five from Benefit. And I'm just gonna fill in the gaps. Okay, so I'm gonna set my brow with the Ready Set Brow Clear Gel. Next, I'm using the Pack Cosmetics Translucent Powder in the shade number 2. I'm applying this loose powder all over my eyelids. Just a quick tip here, never ever skip the powdering step because if you skip the powder step and if you directly start applying your eyeshadow, there are chances that your eyeshadow might start to crack and that you might start seeing some creases uh, on your eyelids. And you know, the eyeshadow starts to separate, especially if you're using some liquid or if you're using some cream based eyeshadows, or uh, you know, if you're mixing your eyeshadow with a little bit of water and then you're applying it. And if you haven't powdered your base, your eyelids first, there are chances that it might separate and you might see cracks on your eyelids. So it's always, always better to powder your eyelids before you begin with any kind of eye makeup. Right, so to begin with the smoky eye, I'm using the Balm Nutube palette and it has all, basically all the nude colors that you would ever need for a smoky eye or for a nude um, eye. So today I'm going in with the shade Sleek, which is the darkest brown on the palette. Starting from the outer corners, right where uh, my eye kind of ends and I'm just going to blend it inwards using circular motions. I'm using this shade Sultry, which is the light brown matte color, and I'm using this as a transition shade. I'm applying it just above where the black smokiness kind of ends, and I'm blending it with the black. And now I'm using this color bar pencil brush, and I'm using the same dark brown shade that I've used on the outer corners. I'm just taking it lightly. Uh, on the lower waterline area. I'm taking the shade Stubborn and I'm applying it onto the inner corners and on the center portion of my eyelids. Now I'm taking the shade Sexy, which is the matte black color on the palette. I'm 
using this black gel pencil by Pro Arte and I'm lining the lower waterline. And I'm also tight lining with the same pencil. Next, I'm using my Lacme Liquid Precision Liner and I'm creating a sharp green. So next, I'm going to highlight my brow bone and for that, I'm using the Revolution Shimmer Brick Palette and I'm using the top two shades. lashes today i'm using the pack cosmetics lashes in the number 75 they're just like really long fluttery uh thick pair of lashes just the way i like my lashes they have mink lashes i highly highly recommend that you buy these lashes if in case if you're looking for lashes which are very dramatic and you know very bold uh, these lashes would go perfectly with the look that i'm going for today next i'm using my l'oreal luminous curve mascara Now since I'm done with my eyes and my eyebrows, I'm going to go in uh, with my foundation which is the L'Oreal Infallible Foundation in the shade 150 and I'm going to apply it all over my face. I'm going in with my Pro Conceal Concealer by LA Girl in the shade Pure Beige and I'm concealing the under eyes. Finally, I'm going to use the L'Oreal Too Much Concealer to highlight the T zone area. Next, to contour, I'm using my Hula Contouring Powder from Benefit. I'm using my Maybelline Color Show Blush in the shade Fresh Coral and I'm applying it onto the apples of my cheeks. To highlight, I'm using my favorite highlighter, the Revolution Shimmer Brick Palette. This is hands down the best highlighter so far. And for lips today, I'm using my favorite nude lipstick, which is the NYX uh, Soft Matte Lipstick in the shade Avi Avi. So this is the final look. I bet it wasn't that difficult. It is just the blending of your eyeshadow and you can get this beautiful, smoky, Arabic sort of wing eye. And you know, it's very easy. Why don't you guys just try it out and uh, Post it down in the comments below how it turned out for you. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, do not forget to give it a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe to my channel before you leave. I will post two videos a week from now on. I will get back to my routine of posting videos. So yeah, see you guys this Friday and hope you guys have a great day ahead. Bye!